Welcome to Muskie Basketball, the Hy-Vee Market Grill Express pregame show here on Discover Muscatine. Brian Musell, Joel Crossauer, and it's Friday Night Basketball. And what a night we have. We've got the MAC leading North Scott Lancers rolling into Muscatine. 17-1 and in the season, 13-0 and undefeated in the MAC, coming off a big win last night against Davenport North. Coming into Muscatine, the Muskies 4-14 and on the season, 3-10 and in the MAC. But one way to make your season feel good is to go out and give somebody their first loss of the season. And it's going to be a tall order tonight here. And, folks, we got a huge night planned for you. Not only great basketball, but it's Hall of Fame night. And we'll be talking about that throughout the first half at halftime. Stay tuned. Make sure you're watching because there's going to be an unbelievable class of former Muskie athletes and coaches inducted into the Muscatine Muskie Hall of Fame. So a big night on tap. Joel, I know you're excited. Yeah, it's a fun night. Hall of Fame night's always exciting. One of my former coaches going into the Hall of Fame, Scott Beatty, uh, and then a couple of kids that are quite a bit younger than me <laughs> going into the Hall of Fame. So, And then, you know, legendary educators and coaches like Ron Kaiser as well, uh, one of my favorite teachers, my sophomore biology teacher, and, and the voice of the Muskies for 35 years, the PA voice. So I'm excited to talk about the Hall of Fame class a little bit later. And it's just a great night for the community, and you always love it when a highly ranked opponent comes in because it just gives you a chance. That's all you ask for is a chance, right? And it's our Valentine's Day game special, and I'm sure Joel took care of his lovely wife, Lindsay, at home with fantastic flowers, candy, all kinds of stuff, Joel. I hope I'm not ruining you here. I hope you did something. I, I did. All right. I, I did. But, uh, man. Actually, our, our first real date was 17 years ago on Valentine's oh, Day. Oh, you're so, a hopeless romantic. So, uh, wow, well, it was just yeah. that just worked into the choir schedule. So that <laughs> it was wow. such a lame, a lame excuse. Yeah. But. Breaks tonight, we'll have Tony Bennett songs ah. playing all night long. <laughs> just kidding. You're probably a Tom Jones guy. We're not hey, going to get that It's not ever. unusual to be a Tom Jones fan. <laughs> Great game on tap tonight, as we mentioned. North Scott undefeated on the season and they're led by a couple of fine seniors starting out with ty anderson the uni recruit ty anderson on the year 19 points a game his stat line is really remarkable 55 percent from the floor and 47 percent from three sam kilberg another young man has started three years in a row for north scott his stat line of course impressive 16 points a game 53 percent from the field and get this you thought Anderson was good at 47%. 50% in the year from three. And that's not a small sample size, folks. That's 92 threes. That's amazing. And he's made half of them, that's, 46 out of 92. That's, just, that's really unprecedented. You just don't see that very often. Not at all. The Muskies, of course, are led by their two fine juniors, Noah Yan, at 14 points a game. Josh Diekman at 12 and a half. And Josh Diekman, I think, has really come on since Christmas break. Stepped up. He's actually averaging... The, the leads of Muskies is scoring in conference play at 12 and a half, right where he's averaging Jan, right about 12 a game. Noah's been sick a couple times, but those two guys going to have to have huge nights tonight for the Muskies to be competitive. Yeah, and the challenge is, is that North Scott, as good as we talk about their offensive game, they're one of the better defensive teams in the state, just giving up only 38.9 points per game. So look for Coach Seamus Buddy to figure out uh, you, how, how to try to shut those two scorers down for Muscatine. I know Coach Wyndham has been trying to find that third scorer all season long, and uh, it's kind of been a, by committee, and we'll just see who steps up tonight because North Scott's going to focus a lot of defensive attention towards those two juniors. Folks, you got a great one on tap. We're taking a two-minute timeout, and we'll be back with the starting lineups. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Muskie Muskie Sports Network. 
enter the manufacturing industry of your choice on your terms. We prepare you with hands-on training, flexible class schedules, and a network of employers after graduation. Now that's community. We are Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the community's college. At Avenue Subs, our sandwiches are sliced fresh, made to order using only quality ingredients. They are topped the way you like it, along with one of our delicious sauces. Make sure you try one of our daily soups or get one of our baked potatoes. They are loaded and guaranteed to fill you up. If pot roast is your thing, try our signature sandwich, The Avenue. And remember, you can eat it here with us or have it delivered. The mission of our company is to serve our clients with the most efficient and courteous service available. People in our community, when they ask, who are we gonna get for pest control? They just call Bosch. Remember, insects are pests, call the best. Bosch Pest Control. Channel Seed knows that farmers are never off the clock and neither are they. Anybody can sell you seed. Only a Channel Seedsman gives you everything you need to make the most of it. See your local Channel Seedsman, Matt Fletcher and Muscatine. Channel Seed is a proud sponsor of Musky Sports. Chicharro's Mexican Restaurant is where Muskie fans go before the game. Our southern Mexican cuisine is truly unique to Muscatine, and we make sure everyone who walks in is treated like family. Chicharro's Mexican Restaurant is a proud supporter of Muskie Athletics. All right, guys, we've got some great news. There's a rumor out there there's a huge sales call coming in today. Good thing Jimmy's not here to steal my thunder again. A big sale? I wonder who it is. Huh. What? Did I pack a tuna sandwich this morning? Why wasn't I in the last commercial? All right. Everyone on the same page? You guys are not gonna believe this. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Hello, this is Jim, can I help you? Yep, yep, thank you for the business. We're back at Muscatine High School, Brian Mussel and Joel Krasauer on Hall of Fame night. Muscatine Muskie style, Roger Bates getting ready to Introduce the non-starters and the starters for tonight's contest, and we'll give you the starters right now for North Scott. In the backcourt, it'll be Sam Kilberg, the fine senior, a 5'11 senior. will be joined by Carter Markham, a 5'11 junior, and Landon Island, a 6'5 junior. Up front for North Scott, Titan Anderson, 6'7 senior, and Trent Allard, a 6'8 senior. So North Scott starts four seniors and a junior, and Joel Wood striking. And the Muskies have made adjustments too. They go 6'8", 6'7", 6'5". A lot of height for Coach Buddy, but it doesn't matter whether he has height or not. He just sure sure knows how to coach them. They're coached by Seamus Buddy, assisted by Dan Marceau, uh, Matt Porer, and Grant Graham. For the Muskies, starting lineup tonight, and they've made some adjustments due to the height that Norris got. In the backcourt, it'll be Sean Brown, 6'2", senior, be joined by Noah Yana, 6'3". Junior up front for the Muskies. Reed Alsis, a 6'5 junior. Waker Clare, a 6'4 junior. And Josh Diekman in the post, 6'7 junior. So the Muskies starting one senior and four juniors. They're coached by John Wyndham and assisted by the great Joel Witchers. You look at a game like this and on paper, it's pretty clear what, you know, if you made odds for high school games, well, you know what it would be. But I think a lot about, about, uh, Ten years ago, Fran McCaffrey's first year at Iowa, a game against Purdue. I think Purdue came in to cover Hawkeye, ranked ninth in the nation. Uh, Jared Cole's senior year it was senior night for him, and and Iowa just they they out rebounded Purdue. They hit a few key shots early and threw a couple haymaker punches early on, and they were able to eke out the upset. That's what Muscatine needs to try to come out and do: play your defensive game. Hit a couple shots early and don't back down from any pressure that you feel. That's the recipe for success for an upset is you have to show aggression and rigidity early on and you can't back down from the from the, your opponent. There you have the keys and I can't even spell that last. Was that rigidity? Rigidity. Rigidity. That's is a, that a word? Yes. Okay. It's a, it's a, well, I'm sure it is. Backbone. I just... <laughs> backbone. Uh, tensile strength in your spine. <laughs> Folks, our national anthem tonight in a moment will be sung by Ruth Ellen Brooks. And tonight at halftime of this game, there's going to be some presentations. First National Bank, of course, you've heard us all year. When they make threes, they donate money. And tonight they're going to hand over a big check to the Muscatine Muskies. Is it literally a big check and figuratively a big check? A big it's check? a big check. And the Hall of Famer, uh, our own Hall of Famer, yeah. Scott Engstead, across the way with his 
lovely wife, Jess. But Those the, are like second mother and father for me right there. You there you go. So. The Hall of Famers tonight, I'll give you a quick briefing. It'll be Judd Anderson, Ron Kaiser, Isaac Allis, Scott Beatty, Emily Clemens Wieskamp, Danielle Ferrer, Jenkins, Craig Cole, and Katie Schultz. We'll talk about them throughout the half. Folks, our national anthem. Ruth Ellen Brooks with the National Anthem. Great job. And we're getting ready for basketball. North Scott comes here in the Road Reds and the gray numbers in white trim, the Muskies, and the familiar home whites, purple numbers in Vegas gold trim. Muskies coming off a tough loss Tuesday night. Really didn't play well at Bettendorf and looking to rebound tonight. Bettendorf took it to him on the road and North Scott Big win Tuesday and last night a makeup game. This is their third game of the week, so the Muskies maybe can hope for some tired legs here, Joel. Yeah, that's what you hope for. Titan Attack. Anderson will jump against Ty Anderson and Josh Diekman. A couple of fine players. <laughs> Opening tip. And it's controlled by Noah Yan and the Muskies. Sean Brown has it, and we're underway at Muscatine High School. Brown swings it to Olsis on the right wing. Reed looks inside, back to Brown. Sean backs in. Spin move, shot on the way. Good, Sean Brown. Good, strong take there from Brown. And that's what you need to do, attack early. Kilberg walks it up. For the Lancers, right wing for Markham. Now they reverse it to Island. And now it's back to Markham. Throws it in the corner for Kilberg. 50% of the year from three. Anderson, nice feet inside Allard for the flush, and we're tied at two. It's a little high-low action there from the two posts. One thing about North Scott, they shoot 39% from the floor as a team, and that's all you need to know. That tells you they get good shots almost every possession. There's Alsis. Over to Jan. Jan on the right wing. Noah puts it on the deck in the paint. Back to Brown. Brown guarded by Island. Now it's to Diekman, top of the key. Anderson's on him. Brown dribbles to his right. Kicks it for Jan. Three ball right wing. Good, Noah Jan. It's a big hot start for the Muskies. 5-2 Muskies, the three sponsored by First National Bank of Us team. They're going to cash in that check tonight. <laughs> Scott Ingstead on the delivery there. There's a cross-court pass. Now baseline to Allard. Allard now gets it back on the baseline. Back out front for Island. 
Highland over to Kilberg. Muskie sitting in a zone. They lead 5-2, 6-20 to play in the first. There's Allard. Back out Island. Allard not looking to score there. He's just looking for a pass. Norse got very patient, as always, looking for their shot. Mark him out high. I did see where there are some rumblings at the state level about a shot clock, maybe as early as next year, Brian. I would love it. You and me both. Even if it's 35, but yeah. I prefer 30. Yeah. There's a three on the left wing island. Long, no good rebound. Allard underneath. Spins to the rim, lays it up and in. He's got all four for the Lancers, and it's 5-4. And now there's a delay of game warning, I believe, yep. on North Scott. They slapped the ball when it came out yeah. of the net. Just tell him to leave the ball alone. And... 5-4 Muskies, so 5-38. My understanding is if that happens again, that's, is that a technical? That's a technical foul, yes. So that's a pretty early uh, clock situation for that. So that could help the Muskies out later on. Brown brings it up ah. the floor, and there's a foul. Number 22, Carter Markham on the reach. Sean did a nice job there of you know, keeping his body between the man and the ball. He was able to get him on the hold and the reach. Cole Kilberg now will check in, just a freshman, younger brother. Of Sam, and Cole's got a twin freshman that's also on the roster, Drew. We're going to see Kilbergs for many more years here, and that's a compliment to Norscott. There's Diekman driving baseline, lays it in. Josh Diekman to the rim, and the Muskies go up 7-4. Aggressive, aggressive offensive possession. Good answer for the Muskies after that you know, regrettable performance Tuesday night that they wanted to flush. Sometimes Coming feels, out here looking good. Feels good to get home sometimes. There's Kilberg. Over to Island. There's Anderson. Three ball left wing. Good. And we're tied at seven. Smooth stroke. He's going to be a player at UNI. Yeah, you see Coach why. Jacobson got a good one there, Joel. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's you know, kind of a stretch three, four. There's Jan in the lane, shot on away, rattles around, no. Rebound Anderson, and here come the Lancers. Sam Kilberg to his brother Cole, now it's over to Anderson, another wide open three left, and can't leave him there, but this one's short. And Jan comes down. Sean Brown, right wing, tied at seven. 4.15 to play in the first. There's a pass to Diekman slapped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lancers. Diekman working really hard away from the ball. Anderson just running with him. It's fun to watch those two battle down uh, each each possession up and down the floor. Sean Brown will inbounds. Nice crowd here, but if you're in the neighborhood, stop on out. Good seats available. And there's a foul, offensive foul on the Muskies. The it's going to be Waker Claire, his first. Got to admit, Joel, this is probably the from a fitness standpoint, the best officiating <laughs> career I've seen this yeah, year. Yeah, these, these are guys who can handle themselves if it gets, uh, guy's been if it gets sideways. Spending they'll, some they'll time be all in right. the gym, yeah. There's a steal by Jan. Noah the other way, lays it up and in, and a foul. And it's going to be on Landed Island. His first, and Jan will go to the line to shoot one. Jan did a nice job of kind of reversing the shot, using the rim to help protect. He drew the foul. Muskie's up 9-7. They've had a couple of three-point leads. Noah looking to make it another one. Free throw on the way. Good by Jan. Noah with six, and the Muskies lead 10-7. Kilberg walks it up. And, you know, on all serious, you know, three games and four nights is a lot. Yep. As Kilberg swings it to Anderson in the corner. Muskie's run a double. Back to Anderson, three, can't leave him, and he splashes another one. And Coach Wyndham saying this, yeah. just that. Can't leave him there because uh, the freshman Kilberg isn't really going to look to score there. 
And that's where uh, one of your internal guys in the zone needs to talk, identify where those shooters are, call stuff out, communicate. There's Anderson again, this time in the right corner, drives in, kicks it to the freshman. Cole Kilberg misses the layup. Good try, though, on the rebound, Brown. Here come the Muskies. Diekman swings it to Claire. Waker puts it on the deck. Now he picks it up Good over to Alsis. Out. Reed Alsis on the left wing. Finds Diekman. Briggs Miller set to check in for the Muskies. Alsis now goes baseline on Allard. Now the ball stolen by Anderson. Down the floor, Ty Anderson loses the dribble, and Jan dives on it. It looks like we have a jump ball. This is the North Scott ball. It's going to stay with the Lancers. 2.43 to play in the first. We're tied at 10. Coach Wyndham tried to call a timeout there. The official did, did just explain it, though. He said he didn't have total possession, so he couldn't offer it to, to the timeout. Cole Kilberg gets it into Brother Sam. 10 10, 2.40 to play in the first quarter. Yeah, I think there's been a lot of games of pig and horse in their driveway with all these, <laughs> <laughs> all these ball players. There's Cole stepping into a three. The freshman rattles around. No good rebound. Briggs Miller, good rebound by Briggs. In the front court, Alsis over to Jan. Jan, nice move to the lane. Shot up. No good rebound, Noah Jan. Kicks it out to Claire. Three ball right wing. Back iron, no, and a rebound, Allard. Two good looks for the yep. Muskies. Nothing to be sad about there if you're a Muskie team. Just that the shots didn't go down. Here's Island. Back to Kilberg. Sam Kilberg kicks it to Anderson. Anderson back to Sam. Kilberg drives baseline to Anderson. Out of Cole Kilberg. They reverse a good ball movement by the Lancers. Muskie defense, though, keeping their feet moving, challenging the shots. Good deflection there for Ilsis. No doubt about it. Muskie's Wait. playing really hard on that end. Waker Claire with a big closeout there on Island. He was ready to pull the trigger. There's Island in the corner. Now Sam Kilberg. He's yet to score, averaging 16 a game. There's Anderson, almost took the corner three, but he gives it to Island for a better shot. And that's what I'm talking about with Norscott. Anderson could have taken that. It really wasn't that contested, but he gave it up for the open three. 13 to 10, Lancers, their first lead of the night. Miller picks his dribble up to Ulsa's top of the key. Reed swings it to Claire. Muskie's got to get Diekman going a little bit here. And there's a kick to Briggs Miller. He goes baseline. Back to Alsis. Under a minute to play in the first. Now they feed Alsis. Back to Waker, Claire. Diekman right or left corner and stolen away by Kilberg. Sam Kilberg pushing tempo. Stutter step in the lane. Right-handed shot. No good rebound. Allard. He goes strong up. Shot. No good rebound. Diekman. Good defense inside by Reed Alsis there. Diekman over to Miller. Back to Reed. Clock at 30. Also spins baseline. Back to Diekman. Josh drives in the paint to Ulsus. Now Jan step back three short and a rebound Anderson. Norscott can play for one. Kilberg in the lane, kicks it for Island. Now corner for Cole Kilberg. Freshman misses a three and we got a foul on Allard. That'll be his first and the third on Norscott. Good box out by Olsis. Really, really good job by Olsis. And you can see the pace. There's some winded players out there. Seven seconds, Muskies can get one here. Miller pushes tempo on the front court. Over to Olsis, back to Miller. Long three at the buzzer, short, no good. We played one, it's North Scott. 13 and the Muskies 10. We're stepping away for 60. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball, the Muskie Muskie Sports Network.
Why should someone bank at First National Bank? Because we care about our customers and we're committed to meeting their financial needs and we're also a big part of the community. Choose Poop Pals for your local pet waste management, lawn care service, snow removal, and much more. Starting as low as $7, call your friendly neighborhood pooper scoopers for a quote. Proud supporter of Muskie Sports. Get into the manufacturing industry of your choice on your terms. We prepare you with hands-on training, flexible class schedules, and a network of employers after graduation. Now that's community. We are Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the community's college. Back at Muscatine High School, Brian Michelle Joe Cross are in a very competitive first quarter for the Muscatine Muskies. They led 10-7. North Scott closed out the quarter on a 6-0 run, and they lead 13-10 as we start quarter number two. 17 and 1 North Scott Lancers undefeated in the MAC. Jake Thomas is checked into the Muskie lineup. He has it top of the key, reverses it to Jan. Now they throw it in the block to Ulsus. Reed backs down, now he kicks it back to Jan. Noah leads the Muskies with six. Noah to the rim, loses it, ball on the floor, but he regains it. And the Muskies have it back out front. There's Jan, right wing. Noah goes baseline hard, kicks it to Thomas. Jake dribbles it in, loses it, ball on the floor, picked up by North Scott. And it's a timeout, North Scott. Olsus dove in on top. Probably be a Yeah, the timeout, I think, saved a foul, actually, there on Olsus. 30-second timeout. 7.22 left, and Joel, halftime, or excuse me, halftime of this game, Hall of Fame night. Let's talk about a couple of, couple of coaches sitting right here. Judd Anderson, 55 years. And I'll let you talk about Judd and Ron. You went to high school here. and yeah. Talk about these two guys. So, Coach Anderson, I didn't have as much experience with uh, outside of – I was not a swimmer, um, but just my friends who did swim, just they loved it. And I have a son who swims in the youth program now, and it's a lot of those – that groundwork was laid you know, when he got here in 1964 – one to have a school that has had that long of a commitment to a sport like swimming is impressive. The Carver Swim Center that's attached to our building, you know, is very much uh, a testament to the program that Coach Anderson has built, and he's still the sitting coach. That's the other thing. That's amazing. It's amazing. And, and Ron Kaiser, longtime tennis coach, uh, but most importantly, was just one of the best teachers at the school and a great guy and a great great guy, and is still <laughs> around. You know, was coaching up until this past year. So, uh, just. You can't have a community like Muscatine without invaluable cornerstone people like Kaiser and, and Coach Judd. There's a pass into Anderson. He's fouled by Briggs Miller. That's a first on Briggs, a second on the Muskies. There's a pass, and only two officials are active here. Tight. <laughs> the one official talking to the scorer's table, the one official put it in play. I guess they're not on the same page. They look good. Yeah. Not on the same page yet. There's a pass over Two out of three ain't bad, I guess. <laughs> So. Markham has it. He's checked back in. And there's a pass yeah. stolen away by Noah Yan. Down the floor, Yan to the rim, lays it up. No, what a foul on Markham. And that's a frustration foul on him. He's not happy about his turnover. Uh, unfortunately, Noah couldn't comp- try to get the three-point play there. That ball just rolled right around the rim. Second foul on Markham. And Cole Kilbury, the freshman, back up, and he'll check back in for him. Yan will shoot two. First one good by Noah. Noah Yon in the season, 64%. I look for that average to go up big time as a senior. Noah's a good shooter. I'd like to see him in a 75% or higher range next year. Second free throw good, makes a pair, and it's 13 to 12 answers. Kilberg to Kilberg and not to Anderson. Sam Kilberg now drives into the paint. Reverse it to Anderson, can't leave him. Free throw, shot no good, but and Cole Kilberg, the freshman, keeps it alive. There's Sam Kilberg driving the lane back over to Island. Island's a 6'5 wing, that's big in high school. Sam Kilberg, three out of the corner, no one a foul on Waker Claire. And North Scott's good at that. As the game goes on, you, you, you chase and chase so much, Joel, that yeah. at some point, they're just in the right spot, and you can't get there anymore. You know, and, and they're doing a nice job moving the ball. Well, and you, you think about, you know, some old the old, old I hate the term old school, but where you're you, you don't dribble the ball, you you work the ball through by passing, and that's what you see through the North Scott offense. 
There's not a lot of dribble isolation. It's move the ball, work the defense side to side, and then, you know, attack, attack inside and out. You know, you're working multiple levels. Just like in a wrestler, you want a guy to change his level, shoot different areas. You know, with the basketball offense, if you can attack at different levels of it, you're going to create some opportunities and open shots. Kilberg makes all three, and it's 16 to 12, North Scott's biggest lead of four. Joked about this off air, Kilberg 50% on the season from three, but only 49% from the stripe, which is mind boggling for as good a shooter as he is, he but just, he just he made just three needs there. He to move back to the top <laughs> part of the. There's a he can shot. shoot anywhere in that half circle. Diekman rejected by Anderson and down the fork in the Lancers. They lead by four. Kilberg deep three left wing short rebound. His brother Cole runs it down. Good looking freshman. He's going to be a good player. He's got a top of the key. You tell he's a freshman though. As a junior senior he's putting that shot up. He's getting a lot of open looks. There's Island. Now it's Anderson right wing, guarded by Jake Thomas. Island gets it back. Over to Kilberg. Now to Sam Kilberg. There's Drew Kilberg. Or Cole, sorry, takes it. No good. Brother Drew on the bench. and No good. Good luck for them and a rebound, Thomas. Still just a four point game here. Briggs Miller to Deekman right wing. Over to Briggs Miller. Now it's Thomas. Thomas picks his dribble up. Over to Alsis in the corner. And this is where Muscatine wants to be. You know, just five minutes to go here in the first half. It's still just a four-point game. They're still well within striking distance for the Muskies. They double Jan. He gets rid of it to Diekman. Diekman right wing. Muskies need better spacing though on offense. I can tell you that right now. And there's Diekman. Runs out of bounds, turnover Muskies. And you notice, and there's a timeout, Coach Winnie was going to tell him just that. It's a 30 second timeout, 16 to 12, 451 to go. A couple of the next, two of the next Hall of Famers, Isaac Allen, Scott Beatty. Isaac Allen, I can speak from experience. Graduated with my oldest son, Nick. Uh, Isaac uh, was fortunate enough to be coaching with John Gendrich and a couple other great guys as Ike was on our fifth and sixth grade YSF football teams. And back then you knew he was going to be special. He was not somebody anybody wanted to take on in practice, one-on-one -on -one drills or anything. And he was he was a lot to handle, but a fantastic kid. Went on to UNI, great success. And, uh, and Isaac Al is a class kid, and he's I, at West Des Moines Valley. I remember now. watching his, his college more than high school. I was actually coaching at Wilton while he was in high school. Here, so I didn't get to see a lot of his Friday night uh, success, but on, on Saturdays he was a dominant player for the Panthers. Fantastic. And some of us thought he might have a chance at, at an NFL uh, roster. He got a couple sniffs. But. He, he had some knee issues, I believe, at the end. Scott Beatty, another one. I want to talk about Scott here in a second. Sam Kilberg has it out front for the Lancers. Braden Hufford set to check in for the Muskies. Island back to Kilberg. Now they reverse it to Cole Kilberg. And now Anderson, baseline for Sam. Back to Cole Kilberg. Now Island will take a three right wing. This one's short. And a rebound, Briggs Miller, and here come the Muskies. Diekman on the right wing. Now it's Briggs Miller. 16 to 12, Muskies hanging tough here in the first half. Diekman left wing. Puts on the deck, Josh to the rim, shot blocked again by Anderson and cleared by Cole Kilberg. Sam Kilberg back to Anderson. And Sam Kilberg drives the lane. Island back to Cole Kilberg. Both those guys turn down threes. There's a shot short and a rebound out of bounds to the Muskies. You know, and I think their legs might be a little tired. They're short on a lot of these open jumpers, Joel. Yeah. And I think Muscatine has had a lot to do with that, they're keeping the pace high. They've not been uh, slow on their offensive game, on the offensive end, working their defense. Briggs Miller walks it up. Now the Musk, or North Scott runs a double at him, almost stolen. Diekman has it, Muskies have numbers. Thomas in the lane, he's fouled by Sam Kilberg. Mentioned Scott Beatty there a second ago. Scott Beatty was second team All-State in baseball is 80, 1986 and first in 87. He was 14 and 0 as a pitcher in 1986 and second most in Muscatine history with 29 career wins. 
And of course, Scott was a decorated softball coach at Mustang Community College. Almost 900 wins as the yeah. MCC coach. Two junior college World Series. Currently the head baseball coach at Danport West. And Scott, well deserved and quite frankly, long overdue for him being yeah. in the Muskie and Hall of Fame. I, I grew up at Kent Stein Park. I, my dad was a big baseball player. My brother, older brother, played ball. And we went to Tom Bruner Field when I was a little kid to watch Scott pitch. He was a, he was a spectacle. And then I was fortunate enough to have him be one of my high school coaches as I was a player at Muscatine. And I, I one of the reasons I got into coaching was because of Scott Beatty. He was such a fine coach for me and still coaching in the MAC Conference for Davenport West. Outstanding player and coach. There's a 3 no good rebound, Thomas. Jake Thomas, while I was talking, knocked two free throws down for the Muskies. 16 to 14 Lancers. Big night here, not only basketball, but Hall of Fame night, folks. Going to say it again. Briggs Miller with a crossover. Picks his dribble up. And now he feeds Thomas, lays it up and in. Jake Thomas, and we're tied at 16. You know, Scott, though, he's getting in tonight, and it might not be too far down the road that a couple of his kids make their way into the Hall of Fame for the Muskies. Athletic family. And his wife, Stacy, should probably be in the conversation as well. Stacy Gray Beatty. There's Island, swings it over for Cole Kilberg. Out of Sam, now Anderson. Nice pass, Island for three, right wing, no good. Rebound, slapped out of bounds. It'll stay with North Scott. 2-10 to play in the first half. We're tied at 16. A lot of families here with the Hall of Famers, too. There's a pass to Allard. Swings it out front now for Cole Kilberg. Now Sam back to Cole. He drives into the paint, kicks it for Sam Kilberg. That's back to Cole. He's going to take a three, top of the key. Good. This one he knocks down, 19 to 16. And he's got those shots. And hopefully for the Muskies' sake, he doesn't start knocking them down because they're wide open right now. Muskies got to leave somebody open, and the freshman made him pay there. There's a timeout. Muscatine and a 30 by Coach Wyndham. Joel, a couple of the next ones on our list here. Emily Clemens Wieskamp. And Danielle Freer Jenkins, go ahead. Uh, so I'll start with Emily, uh, or with Danielle Freer. I mean, we'll start with her. Danielle Freer Jenkins, um, phenomenal thrower for the Muskies. Uh, it went on to Iowa State, where she was a, an outstanding thrower in the Big 12. Uh, just was, you know, and I'll say this, you know, my dad was a sports medicine professional. You know, working with the with the kids at this time, and. Her older brothers, uh, Nate and, and uh, Nick, were outstanding athletes in Muscatine. I think it was categorically known that Danielle was the toughest and the best athlete of all three of the all three of the Frere kids. You talk just, about an athletic yeah, family. Yeah, just phenomenal. Holy cow. Uh, and, and, and she was one of the best throwers in the state of Iowa, and I believe was a state champ at Drake Relays and at the, uh, at the, at the state. And just – Tremendous, tremendous representative for Muscatine in track and field. Turnover Muskies in the front court. Now Kilberg, Sam has it on high, swings it to Drew Kilberg. Now Allard baseline. 19 to 16, Kilberg steps into another three. The freshman with back-to-back -back threes. And North Scott goes up 6, 22, 16, their biggest lead. And I'll say this, uh, one of my college friends, AJ, or AJ Kruger, Let's see what happens here. There's Thomas down the floor. No, when he's fouled, Jake Thomas fouled by Island. AG is be a, his second. Is a, is a native of Sheldon, Iowa, but was a three-time Olympic hammer thrower. And uh, he he even texted me a couple years ago saying, "Hey, do you know this Danielle Frere? Because <laughs> apparently she was working with USA track and field and throwing. And AG now the fit track and field coach at uh, USD South Dakota, which is uh, the alma mater of the Frere." Uh, Patriarch Dan Frere yeah. played football for South Dakota, so it all kind of goes full circle with those those athletes. Unbelievable family. There's a free throw, no good by Thomas. Jake misses a pair. Or Scott now in the front court, under a minute to play in a half. Sam Kilberg, he'll get a wide open three, and it's short. A rebound, Allard back to Cole Kilberg, and now to Sam again. 
Huskies have been hanging around, fighting hard here. But they haven't put a lot of points up since midway into this first quarter. And there's a shot. Nice drive by Sam Kilberg, and it's now 24-16. Huskies trying to get it in. They get it to Miller with 25 seconds. And now it's Noah Jan. Jan drives in, loses his footing, and falls. Lost his footing there, and it's out of bounds. North Scott will get the last shot of the half now. They lead 24-16. As we prepare for this last shot, you know, we mentioned Emily Clemens of East Camp, who's an assistant coach for the women's program. Uh, what, a, what a phenomenal class, that 2014 graduating class of Muscatine High School. Two members of that graduating class going into the Hall of Fame tonight, and Emily, one of them, Summit Player of the Year in basketball. When she left, she was Western Illinois' all-time leading scorer. Uh, just a tremendous career. Uh, for the Leathernecks in their women's basketball program. Stay tuned at the half. Special presentation. It's the Toyota Most Teen Halftime Show. Cole Kilberg for three, misses it. And there's the, we got a score at the half. It's North Scott 24 and the Muskie 16. We're stepping away for two minutes. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Muskie Muskie Sports Network. Avenue Subs, our sandwiches are sliced fresh, made to order using only quality ingredients. They are topped the way you like it, along with one of our delicious sauces. Make sure you try one of our daily soups or get one of our baked potatoes. They are loaded and guaranteed to fill you up. If pot roast is your thing, try our signature sandwich, The Avenue. And remember, you can eat it here with us or have it delivered. Why don't you bring me back? In like 30 the mission of our company is to serve our clients with the most efficient and courteous service available. People in our community, when they ask, who are we going to get for pest control, they just call Bosch. Remember, insects are pests, call the best. Bosch Pest Control. Channel Seed knows that farmers are never off the clock, and neither are they. Anybody can sell you seed. Only a Channel Seedsman gives you everything you need to make the most of it. See your local Channel Seedsman, Matt Fletcher, and Muscatine. Channel Seed is a proud sponsor of Muskie Sports. Welcome back to Muscatine High School. Joel Krausar and Discover Muscatine. As my partner Brian Musell is at center court right now with a $4,000 check being presented from First National Bank of Muscatine to the Muscatine uh, Booster Club and Muscatine Athletics. President of First National Bank, Muskie Hall of Famer Scott Ingstead and Tom Olsis also at center court as it is Hall of Fame night here at Muscatine High School as we get excited for the Hall of Fame presentations. Um, our last two uh, inductees into the Hall of Fame tonight are uh, uh, Craig Cole, who Craig was an all-state tennis player at Muscatine, and unfortunately, uh, this is a posthumous induction uh, for Craig Cole, uh, who he has since passed away. He was a two-time state qualifier in tennis. He finished as the district runner-up and qualified for state as a junior. He accumulated a 20-3 and singles record and won the district championship as a senior. And then, Brian, we're just getting ready to talk briefly here about sure. Katie, Katie Schultz, oh. uh, class of 2014, yes. um, All-American. Uh, Summit Player of the Year at North Dakota State. Just uh, uh, Katie is just a phenomenal story. <laughs> Got to stand for Isaac Alice, my yeah, boy. Absolutely. Katie Schultz, I could talk to you about Katie real quick. Isaac Alice being introduced right now, but Katie Schultz, 17 letters at Muscatine High School. A five sport athlete. Five sport athlete, which is unbelievably rare. If you get a three sporter now, you're lucky. Uh, a lot of them, two is the max, but. Katie played five sports, just phenomenal. We'll just kind of let, hopefully they can catch us with Roger talking about these guys, and we'll talk about the rest of them. Isaac Alice, one of my all-time favorites. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and actually turn my headset over so that way they can maybe hear it all a little bit better. Yep. Scott Beatty. Coach at MCC, where he compiled a record of 892 and 
262, including two straight trips to the Junior College World Series. He was also an assistant baseball coach at North Scott and went to the state tournament and currently is the Davenport West varsity head coach. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, Scott Beatty.
518 as a junior and 571 as a senior. She had 58 stolen bases in her junior year, 62 as a senior. She also finished with 182 stolen bases for her career. In college, she played at North Dakota State University where she was a first team all summit league in 2016 and 2019. She was a first team all region in 2019 and the summit league MVP in 2019. Welcome to the Hall of Fame, Katie Schultz. This has been phenomenal to see the little trip down memory lane. And, you know, when you're in the moment sometimes, you see greatness, but you don't really appreciate the greatness right. until a few years later. And uh, this is one special group. And uh, I, I know most of them personally, and Joel does too, obviously, but uh, this is just a, a tremendous group of people, not just athletes, but really a fun group it's it's great well i think that's it's fun to see you know as, as judd and kaiser are going out you know watching the faces of these other people who all were affected by that like they they some of them like were swimmers and you know you got yep. scott Beatty had a nice little wry smile as judd walked out because everyone loves judd this guy i mean scott's oh, yeah. known him for his whole life and it's just it's a it's truly a class that uh, so many of them have come back and are and are, are back in the community, and, and in some ways, uh, you know, have, have always been a part of it. And so, it's very rare that you see that, and uh, it's it's what makes Muscatine a special place. And uh, those folks, like Katie Schultz, they're always welcome here, and they know that, you know. And and then they've got roots here. You know, her dad's a football coach, and uh, it, it's like they never left. In some ways, and in, in other ways, we're so glad that they did because they've accomplished so many other great things as they've left Muscatine. No doubt about it. We got a basketball game now to finish. North Scott leads at the half 24-16. We're going to take a two-minute timeout so some of our great advertisers can jump in here. This is the Toyota Muscatine Halftime Show, and you're watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Muskie Muskie Sports Network. 
Mexican restaurant is where Muskie fans go before the game. Our southern Mexican cuisine is truly unique to Muscatine, and we make sure everyone who walks in is treated like family. Chicharro's Mexican restaurant is a proud supporter of Muskie Athletics. All right, guys, we got some great news. There's a rumor out there. There's a huge sales call coming in today. Good thing Jimmy's not here to steal my thunder again. A big sale? I wonder who it is. Huh, did I pack a tuna sandwich this morning? Why wasn't I in the last commercial? All right, everyone on the same page? You guys are not going to believe this. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Oh. Hello, this is Jim. Can I help you? Yep, yep. Thank you for the business. Why should someone bank at First National Bank? Because we care about our customers and we're committed to meeting their financial needs and we're also a big part of the community. Choose Poop Pals for your local pet waste management, lawn care service, snow removal, and much more. Starting as low as $7, call your friendly neighborhood pooper scoopers for a quote. Proud supporter of Muskie Sports. At Avenue Subs, our sandwiches are sliced fresh, made to order, using only quality ingredients. They are topped the way you like it, along with one of our delicious sauces. Make sure you try one of our daily soups or get one of our baked potatoes. They are loaded and guaranteed to fill you up. If pot roast is your thing, try our signature sandwich, The Avenue. And remember, you can eat it here with us or have it delivered. We are back at Muscatine High School. <laughs> Prime yourself and Joel Crossart, the half. And I hate to turn down chocolate cake, but I'm going to right now, but it looks awesome. You know, Joel, we've been doing games all year and we got a free bag of popcorn. Yeah. Um, you know, and now we got cake. I mean, this is fantastic. What hospitality. Hall of Fame night. What a ceremony at the half. And you got to catch all that. Uh, right here on Discover Muscatine, the legendary Judd Anderson coming back here, uh, right by us here. Congratulations, Judd, and uh, what a great group, and uh, it's all a lot of fun, man. Yeah, it, 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 that brought a smile to my face. It's, you know, it's, it's something that you don't think about when you're going to school here. You, you don't think about it as you're playing, you know, is this, am I doing what it takes to get to the Hall of Fame? Right. One of my classmates and teammates, Nathan Panther, went in a few years ago. And, you know, those of us who are playing with them, we knew. We knew what we were watching, but I don't think it ever goes through your mind of you as you're, as you're working your way through. It's definitely an honor that uh, it's, it's well-earned, it's well-deserved, and it's something that is saved for a very few, uh, very few folks. Yep, unbelievable. Uh, great community night here at Muscatine High School. 24 to 16, we're ready to start half number two. The Muskies, same five starters. It'll be Ulsus, Diekman, Waker, Claire, Sean Brown, and Noah Yan. And North Scott trots out Anderson Island. Markham will get the start. He had two fouls along with Island in the first half. Allard and Sam Kilberg. Muskies trailed by three after one, 13 to 10, and hung around really well the whole first half. And North Scott stretched it to eight late. Important first few minutes here in the second half for the Muskies. Kilberg dribbles to his left. Muskies still persistent in that 3-2 zone. Got to identify the shooters. There's Markham back to Sam Kilberg. Kilberg with just five in the first half. He's going to open up with a three to start. Almost knocked it in, but it's out. And Diekman with a strong rebound. Noah Yon in the front court. Noah picks his dribble up. Back to Josh, got to get Josh going. Just two points in the first half. Diekman, nice move, shot up, no good. Rebound to Anderson, but I like the take. Good luck there for Diekman. There's Anderson, over to Island. Back to Anderson, open three, top of the key splash. and You just can't yeah. leave him. If there's dribble penetration there, you got to take your chances. You can't leave Anderson, 27-16. And that's a hard thing to do because you're you're always taught to you know collapse on the on the paint. But 
But when you got a D1 yeah. player out there that can stroke it like that, you just got to be on him. There's Brown, swings it over to Alsis, and now it's Jan and the Muskies reverse it. Better ball movement here to start the second half. There's Waker Claire, goes baseline, shot on away, no, but a good take by Claire, and he's fouled. Nelson Waker to the free throw line. And that's how you can try to chip back into this ball game. You know, attack the rim, maybe get to the free throw line, maybe get a couple three-point plays your way. Falls on the landed island. That's his third, so that's a concern. And Claire knocks down the first. Waker's first point of the night. So Island, the 6-5. Junior has to check out. Go for it, Sean. Get after it. Claire's second free throw on the way. No good rebound, Anderson. North Scott by 10, 27-17. Kilberg pushes it up. There's another wide open three by Anderson Splash. And Coach Wyndham just yeah. can't be happy with that. He's kind of beside himself. And here In transition, yeah. nobody stepped up. And, I mean, a literally four or five feet wide open three. He's got four threes. There's Brown to the rim. Shot blocked. Rebound, Sean. Kicks it out to Ulsis. Reed in the paint. And there's a ball stolen away by Markham. Markham. Over to Allard, but a little wide of him, and Kilberg picks it up. Out front for Cole Kilberg, who's checked in for Island. Back to Sam, and he's wide open. Three back iron, no good. They're lucky there, and a rebound also. Jan in the front court. Noah steps into a three, no good rebound. Allard and a foul. Actually, it's going to go on Allard, and Diekman with good hustle on the glass. Yeah, he had enough inside position that he was able to draw the foul. Thomas and Briggs Miller check into the Muskie lineup. Ulsus and Sean Brown check out. And that, it, Joel, that's a defensive substitution, just what we talked about. Yep. And, and he's, those are the two apparently not picking on him, but that's what Coach Wyndham's saying. they got to stay out in the shooters. There's Thomas, swings it over to Claire, and now back to Briggs Miller. Reverse it to Thomas, and now over to Waker Claire right wing. 30 to 17, North Scott by 13, five and a half to play in the third. Noah Yan dribbles to his right. North Scott doubles and a foul on Anderson. Good take by Noah to draw the contact. And that's what you have to do is try to get the, the bigs here for North Scott, their scoring threats. You got a chance to get him into foul trouble to do it. But that's just Anderson's first foul. He's really impressive. Good athlete, good player. He's been up since his freshman yeah, year. Yeah, he's played a lot of varsity basketball. There's Jan, drives in on Anderson. Nice runner shot, no good. Rebound tapped and cleared by Kilberg. Good take by Noah, didn't get it. There's Anderson pushing Temple on the front court in on Thomas, lays it up and in. Jake Thomas with good position, but the athleticism of Anderson got it. 32-17, full timeout. We're stepping away for 30. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball, the Muscatine Muskie Sports Network. Get into the manufacturing industry of your choice on your terms. We prepare you with hands-on training, flexible class schedules, and a network of employers after graduation. Now that's community. We are Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the community's college. The mission of our company is to serve our clients with the most efficient and courteous service available. People in our community, when they ask, who are we going to get for pest control, please call Bosch. Remember, insects are pests. Call the best. Bosch Pest Control. We are back at Muscatine High School. Brian Musell, Joel Crossauer, and North Scott has gone on an 8-1 run to start the third quarter in the first three minutes. And Joel, just what the Muskies couldn't afford to have happen, all of a sudden that lead has ballooned to 15. Yeah, it started at the defensive end, well, losing track of the shooter. Titan Anderson, two big threes at the beginning here of the third quarter, and just kind of blowing that lead open a little bit. And, and the first one, you kind of say, okay, we lost track. The second one, Coach, Coach Wyndham calls a timeout, gets the defensive sub, substitutions in, not just so that he can get some guys in there who, who he thinks can do a little bit better job, but also to coach up the guys who made the mistakes so they understand when they're back in the game what you got to look for. The trailer, these trailing shooters for North Scott are very dangerous in their secondary break. No question about it. Diekman now right wing for the Muskies. And there's a ball slapped away by Anderson, and it's going to stay with the Muskies. Diekman's got to continue to challenge him, though. Jan will inbounds. 
Over to Briggs Miller. Briggs has it in now. Claire on the right wing. Feed Diekman, turn around baseline. Good, Josh Diekman. Good inside pivot there by Diekman in elevation. Big jumper there. Diekman now with four. Thomas has four and Jan eight. It's most of your musky scoring right there. 32-19, North Scott by 13. Markham, out front Anderson, wide open three, top of the key, good. Five threes, and he's got plenty of space to shoot him, 35-19. Here's Miller, right wing now for Waker Claire. Allard with a good double team. Now they get it to Josh. Over to Thomas baseline. There's a shot by Jake. No good short and a rebound cleared by Anderson. A high hedge there by Allard really disrupted the offensive flow for the Muskies. Over to Cole Kilberg. Now Markham. They try to feed it inside. Nice play by Diekman to steal it. Josh running down the floor. Ball stripped away. An offensive foul on Josh Diekman. That's a little question. Yeah, that, that's putting it politely. <laughs> Poor. First foul on Josh. The, uh, the contact there didn't seem you, to equal the, the amount of. Did you hear what Coach yeah, Wyndham yes. said? I didn't mean to interrupt <laughs> you there. He said, have you, you guys figured out who could shoot the three yet? <laughs> but he's right. Yeah. There's. Cool. Now they pass to Markham, now Kilberg in the corner. They get it to Allard baseline. Not sure that's the, the method that Socrates had in mind with the whole qu ask questions to, to know the answer. There's Kilberg, three on the left wing. This one no good. And Kilberg, 50% of the year, struggled tonight from three. But they get their own rebound. Titan Anderson, five threes and 17 points, and he's fouled in the dribble by Claire. He's uh, starting to take over this second half. Third foul on Waker Claire. Second on the Muskies here in the third quarter. Waiting around the rosy inbounds play here for the Lancers. <laughs> Ashes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's Kilberg in the corner. I've never seen that where they just run in a circle and just all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, hey, you know, we didn't have video games when we were little, Joel. We had to invent things. That's right. Next one, if, yeah. they, if they have a London Bridge I'm so here old, on the next I was part around. of the Ring Around the Rosie generation. <laughs> I, I played it. There's Generation X, Z, and Ring Around the Rosie, isn't it? 37-19. North Scott by 18. There's Diekman with a baseline jumper. Good, Josh. Back-to-back -back jumpers. And he has six. 2.40 to play, third quarter. 37-21, North Scott. There's Sam Kilberg, nice shot in the lane, no on a foul. And it's going to go on Briggs Miller, so Sam Kilberg go to the line to shoot two. Anderson with 19 for North Scott. He averages 19 a game. Kilberg with five. He averages 16. And his first free throw is good. It just seems like we're at the point of the game here for the Muskies with 239 to play or 238 to play here in the third quarter. They've got to have a couple big offensive possessions here or else North Scott's looking to blow this door open. You know, and I jinxed Kilberg the other way. I talked about him 49% on the stripe this season. Five for five tonight. 39-21, North Scott by 18, and there's a foul. And it's going to go on Sam Kilberg, his second and the fourth on North Scott. And Coach Buddy has really amped up the pressure defensively this half. A lot more aggressive, some traps and full court press there. Claire has it. He's guarded by the freshman Cole Kilberg. Now Briggs Miller to Diekman. Gives it back to Miller, now to Jan. Allard steps out on him, and now Claire. Now Briggs Miller right wing. Goes baseline. Claire, good ball movement there by the Muskies. Waker Claire now drives into the paint, lose it, and it's picked up by Allard, and here come the Lancers. Such active hands from the Lancers on the defensive end. Kilberg hesitation dribble, backs down on Briggs Miller in the lane, and there's, there's going to be a foul on the floor, and I believe it'll go on Briggs. And that yeah. is on Briggs Miller. Yeah, Coach Wyndham, great point. 
North Scott is initiating a lot of contact yeah. on the offensive end. He should take the dive. Yeah. Don't you love sitting down here? It's great. There's Markham. Over to Kilberg. 39-21, 145 to play. But you know, that's good basketball. They're not going to call it continue to initiate. There's Kilberg for three Cole that time. Tipped by Anders Snow, but tips Man. again and scores. He's so quick off the floor. Going to play a lot of yeah. He's going to play a lot of minutes in the valley. There's Claire, and this stolen away by Cole Kilberg, the freshman ahead to Markham. Passes a little too far ahead in a turnover. North Scott. There's Briggs Miller. Muskies with numbers two on one. Jan to the really rim, lays it in on the reverse. Smart play by Noah because if he goes to the right side, it's yep. going to get rejected. He knew what he had coming at him, and he knew he helps. He's left-handed too. 41-23, Kilberg in the lead. He's much more aggressive here in the second half. And he scores there. He's up to nine, and it's 43-23, North Scott by 20. North Scott has outscored the Muskies 19-7 here in the third so far. Waker Claire feeds Alsis. Alsis backs in on Allard. Back out, Jan for three. Top of the key, good, Noah Jan. And that's a first National Bank three. Go see Wayne Johansson and Ron Monahan, the dynamic duo at First National Bank Muscatine. 43-26. North Scott by 17. They're playing for one here. Anderson out high. Now to Allard. Allard sure knows his role. Four points, he had the opening dunk of the game. He had the first four of the game. And now Anderson with another basket. 45-26, Jan in the front court. Step back three at the buzzer, long. And we've played three, it's North Scott 45 and the Muskies 26. We're stepping away for 60 seconds. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Musty Muskie Sports Network. Channel Seed knows that farmers are never off the clock and neither are they. Anybody can sell you seed. Only a Channel Seedsman gives you everything you need to make the most of it. See your local Channel Seedsman, Matt Fletcher and Muscatine. Channel Seed is a proud sponsor of Muskie Sports. Chicharro's Mexican Restaurant is where Muskie fans go before the game. Our southern Mexican cuisine is truly unique to Muscatine and we make sure everyone who walks in is treated like family. Chicharro's Mexican Restaurant is a proud supporter of Muskie Athletics. All right, guys, we got some great news. There's a rumor out there. There's a huge sales call coming in today. Good thing Jimmy's not here to steal my thunder again. A big sale? I wonder who it is. Huh, did I pack a tuna sandwich this morning? Why wasn't I in the last commercial? All right, everyone on the same page? You guys are not going to believe this. Oh, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh. Hello, this is Jim. Can I help you? Yep, yep. Thank you for the business. We're back at Muscatine High School. Brian Russell, Joel Cross, our three quarters in the books. North, Sco North Scout leads the Muskies 45-26. Stay tuned after the game for the Muscatine Power Water Post Game Show where Joel will name as Chicharro's play of the game, Eastern Iowa Community College's defensive player of the game, and the Guadalajara offensive player of the game. Thank you to our great sponsors here on Discover Muscatine. Braden Hufford checks into the Muskie lineup, the Muskie sophomore. His first action of the night, isn't it? Played a little in the first okay. half. Just must have missed him. There's Jan, right wing, feeds Diekman. Josh backing in on Anderson. Good matchup here. Nice move by Diekman. No good. A rebound cleared. It's slapped out of bounds, actually. But good take by Diekman. Good strong move. But it'll be North Scott ball. Kilberg brings it up for North Scott. Two veteran players, Kilberg and Anderson, really carrying this team, but so well coached. These guys all know their roles. There's a steal by Jan. Noah Jan down the lane, lays it up and in, and Jan up to 15. Playing well tonight. Noah showing why he's also so effective on the track overall. He's a fast, fast athlete. There's a Alley-oop to Allard from Kilberg. Nice feed, and the basket's good. Allard now is six, and it's 47-28. Seven minutes left in this one. Hufford to Alsis. Reed swings it over 
And now they reverse it to Hufford back again in the corner. Now Diekman top of the key. Josh wanted it, but he didn't pull the trigger. Now it's back to Jan. Hufford to Alsis. Alsis over to Waker. Claire for three. Air ball short and out of bounds. It'll be Norscott ball. North Scott starting to bring in some of their subs up 19. Number 21, Cannon Guffey has checked in. 6'2", junior. Kilberg walks it up now for the Lancers. Anderson to Sam Kilberg. He kicks it in the corner. Now Guffey back to Kilberg. Sam Kilbert going baseline, kicks it out to his brother Cole for a three tap of the key. Short rebound, Hufford. And here come the Muskies. Olsis drives in, runner, no good rebound. Reed runs it down, but he steps out of bounds. No, he doesn't. It's going to be Muskie ball. I was blocked by the official there, Joel, so I didn't see everything going on. But. Yeah, it looked like Kilberg, one of the Kilbergs, got, <laughs> got a finger on it as it was going out, trying to save the ball. 5.54 left, 47-28, North Scott. Trevor Diedrichs has checked into the Muskie lineup. There's Jan on the baseline runner. He gets in the lane, back to Diekman. Step back, 15-footer, no, rebound to Anderson. Sam Kilberg in the lane. Over to Guffey, he'll step into a three right wing, no good rebound. Cole Kilberg. He feeds it back to Guffey, and now they reverse it. Markham has it out high. He tries to feed it to Guffey, and he gets it inside. Shot rejected by Diekman, but a foul, and I think it's on Diedrichs. You, know, you like to see that from North Scott. They bring in one of their subs uh, off the bench here in Guffey, and you can tell they ran a couple sets there to try to really get him the ball, get him a chance you know, in the game, some short time here at the end to get a shot here to get on the board. The foul is on... Diekman, that's his second and the fifth on the Muskies. First free throw by Guffey is good. Gotta love the first name, Cannon. Think he's a baseball pitcher? He I should be. So. Or a quarterback. Second free throw, good. 49 28. North Scott by 21, their biggest lead. Or it's. Uh, I'm not going to go literary. Cannon has a has a literary term. Too, You'll lose me, yeah, Joel. I thought it. Might. Yeah, I'll be completely out of the <laughs> conversation. <laughs> There's Diedrichs out high. Know your audience, right? The audience may know it, but but Brian Musell, no. There's a shot rejected out of bounds. It'll stay with the Muskies. And now Island's checking back in. No, and there was a couple of moments in the first half where he was Island's was really just. Uh, I thought he was going to heat up and. Markham checks out. Just seemed to be in the flow of the game, and you could also say he maybe he was in the stream. Islands in the stream. Oh, the game. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> Diekman step back, 16-footer good. Josh Diekman's found his spot. Made three jumpers from there here in the second half. He's up to eight. You can't have a last name like that and not try to work in the Kenny Rogers no, reference. absolutely not. There's no Rupert Holmes songs, please. Hey. There's Island out of the corner. Good. Are you trying to tell me you don't like pina coladas? <laughs> well, there's one song of his that I, yeah. Okay, I don't. 52 that's, 30. I'm not, that's, that's not, we can talk about the Broadway yeah. musical that he wrote too, but we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> no, yeah, on right wing. Drives baseline, loses it out of bounds. It'll be North Scott Ball. And now number 44. Ben Belkin has checked in, a 6'2 senior. And Markham checks back in. The freshman Cole Kilbergs checks out. Ty Anderson, probably done for the night, checks out. Up 22 with 420 left. And now number 50, Alexander Johnson checks in for Sam Kilberg. So two leading scorers are off. North Scott's called the dogs off, up 22 with 422 left. Well, like you said, this is their third game in four nights. They've got a lot of basketball left in front of them. They want to keep their legs as fresh as possible. Guffey to Johnson, and now it's Markham. He kicks it over. There's Belkin for three. Air ball, no good rebound. Alsis. Trevor Diedrichs in the front court. Feeds Diekman on the block. 
Josh, nice move, turnaround shot, no good rebound, cleared by Johnson, and he gets it to Guffey. Now Jake Thomas set to check back in. Markham has it on high, guarded by Hufford. Now Island, the only starter on the floor for North Scott. Well, actually Markham, there's two of them. But their two leading scorers are out. Johnson to Island. Now Markham. They feed it inside the Belkin, and he's fouled from behind by Diekman. That'll be his third. Thomas not, the, not the second half that I think Coach Windham was hoping that they would have. As strong as Muscatine played in the first half, uh, North Scott just proving to be a little too much for them here in the second half. There's Guffey. Now they get it to Island. Reverse it now to Markham. Markham drives in on Hufford. Now he kicks it back out for Guffey. On the feet at the corner. Island goes baseline. Looks like he traveled as soon as he caught it. Some subs here. Braden Walker is checking into the game for North Scott. Island checks out. Also number 14, Jackson Guffey has checked in. So I assume Jackson and Daniel Guffey or Cannon Guffey. Jackson and Cannon, love those names. Mom and Dad, very creative there. There's Jan, three left wing, no good rebound. Hufford picks it up to the rim, shot good and a foul. Braden Hubbard with his first basket of the night. And that fouls on Jackson Guffey. Good strong attack after he got the rebound. Went right to the rim. 2.50 to play, 52-32. Hufford now at the line. And his free throw is good. He makes a three-point play. Now Braden Seaman is checking into the Muskie lineup. So Jan takes uh, the bench. And Noah Jan on the night with... I believe Noah had 15. In the front court is Johnson. Over to Belkin, he drives in the lane. Shot, no good, rebound. Jake Thomas now stolen away by Guffey. Lays it up and in. 54-33. Hufford to Diekman. Diekman feeds Thomas inside. There's a foul on Daniel Guffey. Thomas did a nice job posting up. I like Hurtado is checked into the lineup for Daniel Guffey. Diekman checks out now as Nick Schultz has made his first appearance. Now Carson Gollinghorse is checked in, a 5'10 junior, replacing Alex Johnson. There's a pass inside to Schultz. He loses it, picks it back up. Now Nick, ball on the floor, and we're going to have a jump ball. Gollinghorse got in there, and this one's going to go to North Scott. Number 34, Nathaniel Fenn is checking in. There's Gollinghorst over to Fenn. Now it's to Guffey. Duffy picks his dribble up, swings it over. And now it's Fan. He'll take a deep three right way. Good. Joel. Yeah, I mean. Might be the 13th guy on the bench. He comes in and buries a three, 57 30. And that's no disrespect no. to him. That's telling you how good North Scott is. There's Diedrichs for three right wing. Air ball, no good. Rebound cleared by Gollinghorst. In the front court for Guffey. Jackson Guffey. Hesitation dribble. Spin move on Diedrichs. Now he kicks it back for Walker. Fenn swings it around for Hurtado for three. Uses glass, no good. Rebound cleared inside. Shot on the way good by Braden Walker. 59-33. And now there's a substitution whistle. Heads up by the official there. Brady McDaniel checks in and Eli Gay. And now number 12 is checked in. Oliver Hughes, a 5'11 sophomore, replacing Gollinghorst. Seamus Buddy does a nice job of getting his guys in. And yeah, out. and he was 
I, you know, we talk about great players that we saw. Sheamus was one of those for me as a kid. He played for Bettendorf. He's a great point guard. There's a three by Diedrichs. Long, no good. Rebound cleared by Hurtado. He brings it up the floor. One minute to play. Stay tuned after the game. Must team Power Water post game show where Joel will sing his post game players. No. Of the <laughs> no. There's Eli Gay to the rim, lays it up and in. Eli Gay. Scores a lot of touchdowns, and now he scored a basket. There's a pass over Hurtado, or actually Walker in the corner. Now they swing it around Fenn. Over to Guffey for three. Left wing rattles. No good rebound. Scholes. Gay has it. Ahead for Seaman. Back out to Eli Gay. Clock at 25. They feed Brady McDaniel inside. Brady to the block, kicks it back out for Schultz. Shot on the way, no good. McDaniel rebound up, no good. McDaniel again rebound up, no good. And good, he did score. And he's fouled. Brady McDaniel with a power dribble and a hoop. He's just battling down low. Twelve point two seconds left. McDaniel go to the line for one. Free throw on the way, good. Brady with a three-point play. It's 59-38. North Scott's going to dribble this one out, and we're going to have a final. Stay tuned for the Power and Water postgame show. The final score from Muscatine High School. North Scott, 59, and the Muskies, 38. We're stepping away for two minutes, and we'll be back. Power and Water postgame show. You're watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Muskie Muskie Sports Network. Why should someone bank at First National Bank? Because we care about our customers and we're committed to meeting their financial needs and we're also a big part of the community. Choose Poop Pals for your local pet waste management, lawn care service, snow removal, and much more. Starting as low as $7, call your friendly neighborhood pooper scoopers for a quote. Proud supporter of Muskie Sports. At Avenue Subs, our sandwiches are sliced fresh, made to order, using only quality ingredients. They are topped the way you like it, along with one of our delicious sauces. Make sure you try one of our daily soups or get one of our baked potatoes. They are loaded and guaranteed to fill you up. If pot roast is your thing, try our signature sandwich, The Avenue. And remember, you can eat it here with us or have it delivered. Get into the manufacturing industry of your choice on your terms. We prepare you with hands-on training, flexible class schedules, and a network of employers after graduation. Now that's community. We are Eastern Iowa Community Colleges, the community's college. back at Muscatine High School and this is the Muscatine Power and Water post game show and North Scott came into this one tonight 17 and 1 in the season 13 and 0 in the MAC and they're leaving 18 and 18 and 1 and 14 and 0 in the MAC the Muskies fall to 4 and 14 and 3 and 14 in the MAC Actually, I got that wrong, but we'll cover that at the end of this one. <laughs> anyway, the Muskies 4 and 15 will be 3 and 14 in the MAC. Uh, the Muskies got a couple early leads. They led by 3 on three different occasions. 10 to 7 was the last one. North Scott closed out the quarter on a 6-0 run and led 13 to 10. They stretched it to 8 at halftime and led the Muskies 24-16. And whatever was in the drinking water at halftime, they turned on the juice and really stretched it out. They got up to a couple of 20-point leads and closed out the third 45-26. They stretched their lead to as high as 26 in the fourth quarter at 59-33 and hung on to win 59-38.
North Scott led in scoring by their fantastic uh, senior going to UNI, Titan Anderson with 23, and Sam Kilberg, another fine senior with nine. The Muskies led in scoring by Noah Yan with 15, and Josh Diekman with eight. And Joel, uh, this game wasn't surprising as far as North Scott winning the game, but the Muskies have had a habit this year of playing good for a half and just not being able to hang in that third quarter. Yeah, and it just kind of snowballed. Uh, Anderson hit three of his first five uh, three-point attempts, I think, in the first, in the second half and just stretched the lead, and then they just brought the press and the pressure, and it just made it more and more difficult for Muscatine to move the ball and score points. And it was just it was an impressive effort by what is – one of the top teams in the state, you know, just a few years ago in the state finals. Just one of the better better programs in the conference and uh, just a tremendous opportunity for North Scott. And uh, Muscatine played with them well in the first half, but the second half it was just it was just over. Got to give North Scott credit. That's a heck of a team, well coached and a lot of talent. Uh, Joel, tonight, uh, your Chicharros play of the game. Uh, I'm going to go down here. Brady McDaniel battles and gets up and uh, it gets a three play. That's something that you like to see your guys coming off the bench, still fighting hard. Uh, Brady McDaniel, that's our play of the game. Eastern Iowa Community College defensive player of the game. I'm going to give that one uh, to, uh, 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 excuse me, Sean Brown in the first half. He think he did a nice defensively. Uh, and it just was a, a tall task team-wise. I thought Sean did a nice job. And our offensive player of the game, sponsored by Guadalajara. Offensive player of the game is going to go to Josh Diekman again. I thought he was the really the, the one bright spot uh, uh, with with the Muskies. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm going to change my mind here because I'm, I, I, this is why I need to write stuff down when my pen exploded. <laughs> Noah Yan, actually. Noah really, really played a nice floor game. Had three or four steals. Also, the let two of them went let out to, to run outs. So close second for Josh Diekman, but Noah Yan, our offensive player of the game. There you have it, folks. The Muskies lose this one tonight. Our last broadcast will be next Thursday night as the Muskies host Davenport Central. No home game on Tuesday night, so please get out here to the gym and support the Muskie boys in their final game uh, this season at home. Will be next Thursday hosting Davenport Central. For my partner Joe Krasauer, I'm Brian Musell. Brian Musell. <laughs> and I'm signing off, Coach. Uh, Tom Olson is trying to give us some cake. This is the third time I've been <laughs> offered cake tonight. Sorry, folks. From Muscatine High School, where the final score is North Scott 59, Musty Muskies 38. Thank you so much for watching Muskie Boys Basketball on the Musty Muskie Sports Network. <laughs>